Hello mga kawawmat! In this video lesson, we will discuss addition and subtraction of similar fractions. But before we proceed to our discussion, don't forget to like this video lesson and subscribe na rin kayo. Our objectives First is define similar fractions and add or subtract similar fractions. So when you say similar fraction, ito yung fraction with the same denominator. So paano ba tayo nag add and subtract ng similar fraction? So we, let's say we have A over B plus C over B. So as you can see, ang B dito is our denominator. So same yung denominator natin. So paano natin, paano tayo nag add ng fraction with the same denominators? So first, add or subtract the numerator, then copy the common denominator. So, add down natin yung numerator or kung ang operation ay subtraction, so isusubtract natin yung numerator. So, in this case, so add natin A plus C and copy the common denominator. And after that, so kung pwede pa natin isimplify, simplify natin if possible. So, ganun din sa subtraction. Subtract natin yung numerator, then copy the denominator. And remember, Dapat yung denominator natin is not equal to 0. Dapat hindi sila equal sa, sa 0. Not equal dapat sa 0 yung denominator natin. Okay, for example, we have 2 fourths plus 1 fourth. So, ang gagawin lang natin, since op ang operation natin is addition, so add the numerator. So, 2 plus 1, that is 3. Then, copy the denominator. So, nasa simplest form na rin naman yung sagot natin. So, therefore, 3 fourths is the final answer. Next, 3 fifth plus 1 fifth. So, cap add the numerator. So, 3 plus 1 is 4 and copy the common denominator. And that is 5. So, our final answer is 4 fifth. Next, 3 over 6 plus 5 over 6. So, again, add the numerator. So, 3 plus 5 is 8. And then, copy the common denominator. So, that is 6. So, 8 over 6. So, pwede pa natin to i lowest term. Or, uh, ang gawin muna natin, i-mix number muna natin ang 8 over 6. Kasi naka-improper fraction siya. So, gagawin natin, i-mix number muna natin. So, ang 8 over 6, kapag ginawa natin mix number, yan ay 1 and 2 over 6. So, kasi kapag 6, kung ito ay gagawin natin yung proper para ma-check natin na tama. So, 6 times 1, that is 6 plus 2, 8 over 6. So, again, since naka-improper fraction siya, gagawin muna natin siyang mixed number. So, nasa teacher nyo na yan, kung uh, dito pa lang, i-accept na nila. Kaya tayo may or. So, pwedeng ito, i-accept na nila yung sagot na to, or kailangan naka-lowest term dapat or naka-mixed number. So, 1 and 2 over 6. Since si 2 over 6 ay pwede pa natin i-lowest term. So, ang gagawin natin, ang ano yung greatest common factor ni 2 and 6? Eh, that is 2. So, 2 over 6, ang lowest term niyan ay 1 and 3 or 1 over 3. Kasi 2 divide 2, that is 1. 6 divide 2 is 3. So, tatandaan natin. So, it's either mixed number yung sagot natin na kailan naka lowest term or pwedeng naka ano na uh, pwede namang uh, ano ito ang tawag natin naka improper fraction so naka improper fraction so kapag ang improper fraction kailangan din naka lowest term so kapag ang sagot natin na naka improper 4 over 3 so ito yung final answer natin next 4 over 15 plus 5 over 15, so add the numerator, so that is 9 over, and copy the common denominator, so that is 15. So 9 over 15, so get the greatest common factor para ma-lowest term natin ito. So 9 over 15 is equal to 3 fifth. So ito yung lowest term ng 9 over 5. So 3 fifth yung sagot natin. Next, meron tayong negative 2 fourth plus negative 1 fourth. So apply natin yung natutunan natin no, sa uh, operation ng integers kung paano tayo nag-a-add, nagsusubtract ng magkapareho ang sign. So, negative 2 fourth plus negative 1 fourth. So, ang gagawin muna natin, add natin. Since ito ay pa, may negative tayo dito, so pag minultiply natin, di ba yung sign natin positive times negative, so maging negative na ito. 
So, that will become negative 2 minus 1. Tama? And, cap and copy the common denominator, so that is 4. Negative 2 minus 1, that is negative 3 over 4. So, this will be the final answer. Next, negative 2 fifth plus 2 and 1 fifth. So, paano ito? Meron tayong isang uh, proper fraction and mixed number. So, paano natin gagawin? Unang gagawin class, gawin nyo tong improper fraction. No? Gawin natin improper fraction. So, ang mangyayari dito, pag ginawa natin improper fraction, magiging 11 over 5. So, negative 2 fifth plus 11 over 5. So, perform natin yung operation natin sa numerator. So, negative 2 plus 11 over 5. So, negative 2 plus 11 is positive 9. Kasi mas mataas yung 11 natin at yung sign niya ay positive. So, positive dapat yung sagot natin. So, positive 9 over 5. Since naka-improper fraction, so gawin natin itong mixed number. So, that is 1 and 4 fifth. Next, negative 2 and 5 over 8 plus 7 over 8. So, kagaya ng ginawa natin dito, gagawin muna natin itong improper fraction. So, negative 2 and 5 over 8. So, ang improper fraction yan is negative 21 over 8 plus 7 over 8. So, negative 21 plus 7, copy the common denominator which is 8. So, negative 21 plus 7, the answer is, since mataas yung 21 at negative yung sign, so ang sagot natin ay negative. So, negative 14. So, negative 14 over 8. So, ito ay naka-mixed number, uh, naka-improper fraction tayo. So, gagawin muna natin yung mixed number. So, or pwede rin class, sabi ko nga sa inyo kanina, so, mula dito, kung iyan ay naka-improper fraction, so, mula dito, pwede nyo ito i-lowest term muna. I-lowest term nyo muna bago i-gawing mixed number. Or, pwede na, pwede mo simula dito, i-mix number nyo bago i-lowest term. So, alin man dun sa dalawa, alin sa dalawang way, pwede nyo gawin. So, pwede i-lowest term muna natin to So, negative 7 over 4. Saka natin, gagawing mixed number. So, that is negative 1 and 3 4 Okay, in subtraction of similar fractions, we have 4 fifth minus 1 fifth. So, subtract the numerator. So, 4 minus 1 and copy the common denominator which is 5. So, the answer is 3 fifth. Next, 8 over 9 minus 6 over 9. So, subtract the, our numerator. So, 8 minus 6, that is 2. And copy the common denominator, that is 9. So, 2 over 9 is the correct answer. Next, Negative 12 over 15 minus 13 over 15. So, same process dun sa kandina ginawa natin sa addition. So, negative 12 minus 13. So, that is negative 25. And copy the common denominator which is 15. So, ano yung greatest common factor nila? So, pwede natin, ang gawin nyo class, pwede i-lowest term nyo muna or gawing mix muna to. So, pwede gawing mix muna. So, negative 1. So, negative 1, that answer is negative 1 and 10 over 15. So, kapag ginawa natin yung improper fraction na negative 25 over 15, sa so mixed number, maging negative 1 and 10 over 15. Saka natin i-lowest term ito. So, ang maging final answer natin, negative 1. And, ang lowest term ng 10 over 15 is 2 fifth. So, neg uh, 2 third rather. Kasi, ang greatest common factor nila is 5. So, negative 1 and 2 third. Another example, we have 10 over 12 minus 4 over 12. So, 10 minus 4, that is 6. Copy the common denominator, that is 12. So, lowest term na lang natin to. So, that is 1 half. Okay, another example, meron tayong negative 3 over 7 minus 1 over 7. So, maging negative 3 minus 1, copy the common denominator, so that is 7. So, negative 3 minus 1, that is negative 4 over 7. So, the answer is negative 4 over 7. Next, negative 4 fifth minus 2 and 2 fifth. So, ito gagawin lang nating improper fraction. So, maging negative 4 fifth minus 12 over uh, 5. So, 4 fifth or 12 fifth, so kung paano mo yung basahin, pwede rin kasi basahin na 4 over 5 or 12 over 5 or 4 fifth, pwede rin ganun. 
So, 4 minus 12, ay negative 4 minus 12. So, negative 4 minus 12, copy the denominator. So, that is 5. Negative 4 minus 12 is negative 16 over 5. So, as you can see, class, naka-improper fraction. So, gagawin natin prop, uh, mixed number. So, that is negative 3 and 1 fifth. Okay, so... Yung negative 16 over 5, ito ay improper fraction. Pag ginawa natin mixed number, maging negative 3 and 1 fifth. Another example, meron tayong negative 2 and 5 over 8, minus 1 and 7 over 8. So, itong dalawa, gawin muna natin mixed number. So, maging negative 21 over 8, minus 15 over 8. Negative 21 minus 15, the answer is... Negative 36 over 8. So, negative 36 over 8. So, pwede natin i-lowest term ito. I-lowest term muna. So, negative 36 over 8 pwede by 4. Tama? So, that is negative 9 over 2. Saka natin i-mix number. So, this is negative 4 and 1 half. Okay. So, let's uh, answer the following problem solving. Number 1, Rachel rode her bike for one-fifth of a mile on Monday and two-fifths on a mile on Tuesday. How many miles did she ride all together? So, alamin lang natin kung ilan lahat. Pagsamahin natin yung ride niya nung Monday at nung Tuesday. So, uh, addition. So, one-fifth plus two-fifth. Since similar fraction sila, so, add the numerator. So, one plus two, three. Copy the common denominator. That is fifth. So, ibig sabihin, Rachel rode her bike for three fifths of a mile altogether. At a pizza party, Jago and his friends ate three and one fourth cheese pizza and the three fourths pepperoni pizza. So, how much pizza did they eat in all? So, he expressed natin into fraction of one and a three and one fourth. So, plus. 2 and 3 fourths. Okay? Since naka-improper fraction to, pwedeng ang gawin natin, since wala naman maging problema kung meron tayong mixed number tapos in natin, ang gawin nyo muna, add muna natin yung whole number nila. So, 3 plus 2, that is 5. Saka, i-add natin yung numerator. So, 1 plus 3, that is 4. And then, copy the common denominator. So, 4 pa rin yan. 4 divide 4, magiging ano na yan, no? 5 plus, pag divide natin ito, magiging 1 na yan. So, 5 plus 1, the answer is 6. So, Jago and his friends ate 6 pizzas. So, ate 6 pizzas in all. Okay, so another example. Book, a book has 8 chapters of equal length. Mary has read 4 chapters. What fraction of the book does Mary have left to read? So, eight, uh, four chapters out of eight chapters. So, ano lang to? Lo, Ilo-lowest term lang natin, no? Four over eight, that is equal to one half. So, one half. Next, Jack needs to walk seven over ten kilometer to school. He has already walked three over ten kilometer. How much farther does Jack need to walk? So, ano natin to? Kung to walk seven over ten, tapos, uh, Nag-start na siya ng 3 over 10. So, ilan pa no? yung kail ang kailangan niyang lalakarin? So, isa-subtract na lang natin from 7 over 10. So, subtract the similar using similar fractions. 7 over 10 minus 3 over 10. So, subtract the numerator. 7 minus 3, that is 4. And copy the common denominator, that is 10. So, pwede pa natin to i-lowest terms. 4 over 10 is equal to 2 fifth. Next. Sarah had 6 over 8 of a packet of cookies. After she ate cookies, uh, ate some cookies, 2 over 8 of a packet remained. So, what fraction of the packet of cookies did Sarah eat? So, ano to? Ano rin? Sub subtraction, no? Sub similar fraction. Kasi ang tinatanong dito kung uh, what fraction of the packet of cookies did Sarah eat? So, fraction to. So, therefore, a subtraction rather. So, 6 over 8 minus 2 over 8, that is 4 over 8. And lowest term 4 over 8, that is 1 half.
Next. Dad cut an apple pie into eight slices. He served four slices to his children and two slices to his wife. What fractional part of the apple pie did that serve? So, lowest term lang din to, no? Ilo lowest term lang natin. So, kung yung dad cut eight pie into eight slices, so he served four slices, two slices and two slices to his wife, what fraction part of the apple pie did what? So, lowest term lang din to, no? So, 4 plus 2, so out of 8 to, so 6 over 8. And yung lowest term nito, that is 3 fourth. So, 3 fourth na lang yung ano, fractional part of the apple pie did that serve. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button. Para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your Wow Math channel.